For downloading Slitaz operating system first go to google.com and search for slitaz.iso. And from the search result click on Slitaz Live CD flavor. This will take you to Slitaz website and from there you will encounter various flavor of Slitaz OS. Scroll down for Slitaz 4.0. ISO having 35 MB in size. This is the stable Slitaz ISO. Now step 2 let's download the Oracle Virtual Box. Which is also a free software. For this you have to again open google.com and search virtual box and then from the search result go to the virtual box website at the virtual box website you will be presented with a download button and all you have to do is click on that button one thing to remember here the virtual box will be installed on top of some host operating system and it will be the guest on that operating system what you have to do now is know your host operating system you are using and accordingly you have to download the same version of VirtualBox. After installation of VirtualBox we have to create a virtual machine for Slitaz OS inside our newly installed VirtualBox. For creation of virtual machine first click the new icon and then you will be presented with a screen wherein you have to give a name to our new virtual machine being created. In the type of OS select Linux. Then for the version field select other Linux as we don't have slit as listed in this version field and then proceed next. The live CD in general needs 192 megabytes of RAM for core system to 48 megabytes for text mode and X window system. But I prefer giving 1 GB RAM to slit as though actually not required. Now VirtualBox by default gives us 8 GB virtual hard disk, which is enough for your this. In type of virtual hard disk there are three options VDI, VHD, VMDK. I prefer VHD that is virtual hard disk with dynamic allocation. It saves hard disk space, then you are presented with an option to save this VHD file to your preferred choice of location. Else. It will be using the default location of VirtualBox. This is your last screen for setting up a VirtualBox. Now your slit as virtual machine is created but there is another additional step for accessing internet from silt as OS. For which you have to change a network adapter type setting in the Oracle VirtualBox to Intel Pro slash 1000 T server. That's it and now you are all ready to fire up the Slitaz virtual machine. Once you fire up the Slitaz virtual box you will be presented with a dialog box asking you to point out the file from where it should boot up the machine i.t location of Slitaz ISO. Once you point out the location of the downloaded slit as ISO you will be able to see the live CD startup screen. On the way of booting up through live CD you will be asked for language setting. Here select English locale for Britain and then you will be presented with another screen to select your keyboard type which should be US Quitty keyboard, unless you use some other type of keyboard. That's it now you are presented with a desktop screen of Slitaz OS. If you have noticed booting time it takes is barely a minute. This Slitaz OS has a very small footprint and the software installed within this tiny OS is impressive and thus makes this Slitaz Live CD workable. Let's have a quick look at the software that comes with the Slitaz Live CD. First menu development under it we have Beaver Code Editor which is quite lightweight and well known in Linux world. Then we have Bitbucket Repository which is a Bitbucket is a web based version control repository hosting service. Then we have CGI Shell Environment which is a part of Bash Shell. Then we Dialog which can create GUI based consoles. Then comes Icon Browser and Lua Interpreter which is a dynamically typed language intended for use as an extension or scripting language and is compact enough to fit on a variety of host platforms. Lastly the famous Vitext Editor of Linux World.
Then we have documentation which is quite extensive in Slitas and indeed quite helpful for learning new stuff. Under the graphics menu it has all the essentials like a screen grabber, image viewer and image editor, etc. Under the internet menu it has two numbers of web browser Midori and TazWeb. Midori is an open source web browser developed in Vala and C with WebKit Engine and GTK Plus 2 and GTK Plus 3 interface. TazWeb is a homegrown web browser for Slitas, it has nothing special, under the office menu Slitas does not have a real office suite, but one can install the per office from Slitas software repository, under preference menu we can control the look and feel of the software. Take a note that Slitas is running Openbox as its Windows Manager. Openbox is a free, stacking window manager for the X Windows system. Under System Tools, Siltas has many important software directly connect with the health of the OS. Some of the majors are Hardware Detecting Application, Kpartit Editor, which is the hard disk partition editor, PC File Manager, Package Manager, Siltas Panel. In short, it is the nerve center of the Siltas, Task Manager, and Wi Fi Configuration Application. Under Utilities menu we have CD DVD Burner, ISO Maker, Calculator and some text editor. We also have two nodes of terminal that is Sigur Terminal and Xterm. Now let's install this live CD that is Slitas OS in our hard disk. For this we have to go to Slitas panel. On clicking Slitas panel you have to provide administrator ID and password. Since we are running a live CD here the administrator ID and password is given on the panel itself that is root and root. After this we are presented with the panel window and in the panel we have menu labeled install. Under this we can find our install slit as menu. And clicking on it we are presented with the window from where we can actually start working on install this live CD to our hard disk. For installing Slitas first we have to prepare our hard disk that is to make requisite partitioning and format the hard disk in the file system that is supported by Slitas OS. For this job we execute our unparted application which is hard disk partitioning and formatting utility. One must remember that to install Linux based OS we need a space where we will keep or install the OS and another partition for Linux swap file. So what is swap file? A swap file or swap space or, in Windows NT, a page file is a space on a hard disk used as the virtual memory extension of a computer's real memory that is RAM. Having a swap file allows your computer's operating system to pretend that you have more RAM than you actually do. Now the question comes what should be the size of this swap file? In general the swap file should be twice the size of your RAM. But this rule is good only for old PC like for old computers with 256 or 128 MB of RAM. Ok now let's go ahead and prepare this hard disk through partitioning and formatting for installing of this slit as live CD. Once we settled on the size we need for our slit as operating system we also decide that file system we are going to use. For this instance we are going to use ext4. Here we labeled our OS partition as system. Our next step is to create a Linux swap partition which we create from the leftover unallocated hard disk space. Now we apply all the changes to be made directly to the hard disk. Since our hard disk is now ready to accept the slit as operating system so we continue with the installation from live CD to the hard disk HDA1. Which is our hard disk which we have labeled earlier as system. And HDA2 is the Linux swap which we will leave untouched for the slit as OS to play with. Grub bootloader must be ticked. Reason being. The bootloader is the first software program that runs when a computer starts. It is accountable for transfer control of the system to the operating system. 
Bootloader knows how to get the operating system up and running. Here we can see that the Slitaz OS is getting installed in the hard disk from the live CD. Once Slitaz installation is complete then we have to reboot the system and now when system will boot we will be able to boot from the hard disk. This is Grub Boot Loader in play, showing us our new Slitaz OS. This is our new login screen from Slitaz OS. This is our Slitaz desktop which is running Openbox Windows Manager. If we go through the menu system we will find all the application that were available in the live CD. We can add further application from Slitaz repository. Slitaz has two numbers of repository. One is the stable and another one is the cooking repository which the unstable one. Stable repository has around 3383 packages and the cooking repository has around 5421 packages. The default Slitaz desktop is brought up using different components of LXDE project, Openbox Windows Manager, PC Man File Manager and LX Panel combined to implement a desktop which provides us with a snappy and simple functional operating system. The desktop provided by Slitaz complies with free desktop standards. Try using this OS in your old hardware, it's good. It has some issues as most open source OS have their own hiccups. But still it delivers a lot. Good luck.